Are your weight loss attempts really frustrating for you? You're thinking, why aren't I losing weight? I'm doing everything right. I'm within my calories. I'm working out and still the pounds won't budge. I'm Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living and for over 15 years I've helped transform the health and lives of women over 50 through fitness and weight loss strategies. And every single time that I meet with one of my new clients or participants in Over 50 Fit and Fabulous, the first, very first thing I ask them to do is to start logging their food so that they can see how they're doing and I can see how they're doing as well and we can figure out why they aren't losing weight, even when they are doing all the calorie counting, the workouts, and everything else in between, and they have either plateaued or they're not seeing any weight loss, maybe even weight gain. After a week of logging, I meet with my clients again, and I say, how do you think you did? Some of them right off the bat say, okay, I know exactly what was going on. I am great now, I know what I need to change. But the other half, say, well, you know, I don't get it. Look, I'm within my calories. Why aren't I losing weight? What's happening? And that's where I come in because I get how frustrating that can be and we need to get you solutions ASAP. So these are the two most common things that I see that start to create a hormone imbalance even when you're in your calories, even when you're eating really well and exercising, the hormone imbalance that can be caused from these two factors can actually create weight gain. It could create fatigue, lack of energy, and unhealthy feelings. Basically, you're not feeling healthy at all. The two common things I see are that they're eating too many unhealthy carbohydrates and if you think to yourself, I actually eat really healthy carbs, so that doesn't include me, just wait, because we're gonna go through what that means and you might be surprised. The next is that there are too many carbohydrates in one sitting, and they're all by themselves. So let's go through what this means. First, when we're talking about too many unhealthy carbohydrates, Let's say, for example, you're on the go and you decide you're going to get that healthy whole wheat wrap. You're going to get the healthy whole wheat sandwich. You're only going to eat half of it. Maybe you have it with a salad so you know you're, you're all good to go. You might be all good to go, but you might actually be packing on the pounds without realizing it. See, many of these products that say that they're whole wheat and that they're healthy for you, well, when you actually take a closer look at the nutrition label, the first of the ingredients are enriched flour, which means it's processed. It's basically like you're eating sugar. Or you see processed wheat. Instead of brown rice flour, you end up seeing things like white rice Flour. The reality is it's unhealthy because it is a refined and processed type of carbohydrate you're eating. This reacts in the body like sugar. It spikes your insulin levels, which packs on the pounds, especially around the waist. Plus, it gives you an afternoon slump when that energy level drops and insulin drops back down, looking to regulate blood sugar again. Your body is hungry. You eat more or you feel like it's time for a nap and it's only 3 p.m. What you can do right now is check out the labels of those food sources that you think you're eating that are really, really healthy and see if they're actually filled with unhealthy, enriched, or processed carbohydrates. So remember, even if your label says that it is really healthy for you, it's whole wheat, it might not be at all. So watch the label. The first three ingredients are the most important ingredients because those are the ones that are in abundance within that product. Make sure that you're actually getting what you signed up for. If you're in a restaurant, you can also ask for the restaurant nutrition guide or look up the restaurant labels online. For the most part, the big chains tend to have them online. If you're not sure if your carbohydrates are coming from healthy or unhealthy sources, then stick to carbohydrates that are 100% whole food. Beans, for example, nobody's adding anything to a bean. It's a bean, plus they're high fiber, they're gonna regulate your blood sugar, they're gonna regulate your hormone insulin and help to release the belly fat. The next big issue that I see is too many carbohydrates in one sitting. 
And no, again, this doesn't mean that carbs are bad for you. It just means that you need to have balance with your carbohydrates in order to create hormone balance, release hormone-related belly fat, increase your energy, and achieve your best health. So let me just explain this really quickly. As you may already know, the carbohydrates, they have this index. It's known as the glycemic index. This index says how quickly a food is going to spike up your blood sugar in the body. When you have a high GI food or high glycemic index food, this food then spikes your blood sugar really quickly. Your insulin then says, I've got to release right now because we've got to pick up all, suck it up like a vacuum and either place it inside of the muscles and the liver or there's no more room for it so we're going to turn it into fat. When you spike up really quickly, there's this increase of blood sugar and then later this really big drop that ends up making you very hungry. It makes you feel really tired and it could possibly push you towards insulin resistance. When your blood sugar is balanced and your hormones then become balanced, you're able to reduce what some have coined as wheat belly or the, wheat, the weight around the tummy. At the same time, you propel yourself towards optimal health and you reduce the possibility of having that afternoon slump. The best way to do this is through combination meals or meals that actually bring down that glycemic index. Combinations include foods that are very high in fiber. So they take the sugars that might be in the food and they balance them lower so that they actually release at a slower rate and they don't spike your blood sugar. There are also foods like proteins and fats. When they're coupled with carbohydrates, even if it's a high glycemic carbohydrate, it can actually push that glycemic index number down, meaning that it's a slow release of blood sugar, hormones remain balanced, and you achieve lasting weight loss. When I meet with my clients though, a lot of times what I see are carbs only, and they don't even realize they're doing it. Let me give you a few examples. You wake up in the morning and you say, I'm gonna have porridge, great. The recipe you had for the overnight oats also calls for a tablespoon of maple syrup. Yeah, it's got five servings, but it's still got some maple syrup in it. Then you add on a few of those dried cranberries, and no, you don't drink milk. You're deciding not to do dairy for whatever reason, so you choose almond milk instead. Accidentally, what's happened is the high glycemic products have overtaken. There's more sugar and the dried cranberries, unfortunately, also act as sugar. And then you've got your oatmeal, which is great, but there's not quite enough fiber to counterbalance the spike in blood sugar. Then instead of adding on a high protein milk source to help once again balance out that blood sugar, there's almond milk or coconut milk, which are great dairy alternatives. I use them myself, but they're not high in protein. They, I think that most of them have about a gram of protein in them per serving. If this sounds like you, you're not alone. <laughs> and you're doing the best you can, which is great. It's the perfect place to start. You can just make a few simple tweaks and you're gonna to start to really notice a difference in balancing of your hormones and getting the results you deserve. So let's take a look at some of the swaps you can do to make these foods a combination food so that it starts to be a slow release of blood sugar and it starts to balance out your hormones. So with that oatmeal, great, you've decided that you're gonna go dairy free. How about switching to soy milk? Soy milk is very high in protein content. It can also help to balance out your estrogen levels because it's a phytoestrogen. So basically you can start to balance out your estrogen levels if you are using soy products in moderation. On top of that, you can add an extra healthy high fiber source. Psyllium, for example, is a high fiber food that you can place inside of your oatmeal and it's going to boost the fiber content. So now you've got a higher fiber, you've got a little bit less sugar with the maple syrup and at the same time you've also got the, the protein source from the soy. Sounds like a win, right? So it's all about simple swaps and just balancing things out a little bit and it can drastically change your results and propel you back into weight loss, slim down the waist, feel really energized even in the afternoon, 
and balance out your hormones. Okay, so let's wrap this up. And I don't mean the wrap that you eat, you know. <laughs> Two big reasons that you might not be losing weight is you might accidentally be eating those unhealthy carbohydrates. Check your labels. First three ingredients matter most. And number two, you're just eating too many carbs in one time. Start to balance it out with fats, higher fibers, and proteins. And see how you do. And if you're not even sure about how many of, of each nutrient you should be taking in, like how many carbs am I supposed to be taking in? How many grams of fat? How, how much of each thing should I be taking in? These macronutrients, including carbohydrates, they change over 50 in the amount that you might need to take in. If you want to learn your exact macro amount, including how many carbohydrates you may need, then take my free macro training. The link is below. It's a two-part series and it's gonna walk you through exactly how to shift the amount of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins that you may need over 50. I would love to hear how this went for you. Write it in the comments below. Let me know how it goes for you and I will see you really soon. I can't wait. For more motivational fitness and nutrition tips to make your 50s and beyond the healthiest and most vibrant years of your life, visit aliciajoneshealthyliving.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.